Hello there. Who would like to hear the story of how I met my beautiful girlfriend, Laura? It was June 4th, 2010. I got down the shore house that we would share for the summer, a week later than everyone else because of a work event. I meet you, that Friday night, and think to myself, I'm gonna like this girl. The second day we talk on the beach a little, and I confirmed last night's thoughts. You're cool, very fun. And it does not hurt, that you look good D in a bathing suit. So the second night I waste no time and lay down my super smooth dance moves on you. Thank God for beer. I had heard rumors of your dancing skills and damn, they were no lie. You got game. I am guessing we danced for 30 minutes or so until it was my bedtime. A.K.A. I took you home. A.K.A. You took me home. Before I left the shore that weekend. I got your number from Goose. Lee had nothing to say then. But, I, did not want to lieutenant a week go by without talking to you. The second week, I don't remember exactly, but, I bet I tried to play it cool. On second thought. I guess I openly admitted, I have very little game, but, would like to kiss you. You responded. I am not, opposed. So, you're saying, I got a chance. By week three. At this point, I'm guessing, I can keep the sure thing going for a little. But I knew you were too good, for me to let this, slip by. So, I do what any class act, like myself would do. I ask you on a date, when I'm hammered. Note to self. No one believes me when I'm smashed. And very few even understand the words I am saying when I'm blacked out. But I was serious. I followed up and made plans. Tuesday, June 22nd. We have our first day. We go to dinner at La Viola. It was the best first date I have ever been on. I knew then that this was something incredible. And it continues to get more incredible all the time. From June through July we had plenty of fun dates. Except for the time here and there, like when I would show up an hour late to the bowling alley. All in all though, everything was going perfect. It was so natural. It's the exact opposite of my voice right now. The summer flew by and it was August before I realized. We went to the Phillies game one Wednesday night. August 18th I think. It was funny how it happened. You were a little upset, in how I introduced you to a friend. But you misheard me. Either way, I ended up asking you out. It was just a title, to something we had already committed to though. We were clearly already together. But the funny thing is, if it is the first day of our relationship. Our flight is Friday will be our six month anniversary. Whoa. And yet, I feel like I've known you for years. As the summer ended, I began to feel what would take me months to say. I had a hard time admitting that I loved you. And it wasn't until Thanksgiving, that I could not deny to myself, how much I loved you. Even still, it took me two more weeks to say it. Laura. I love you. I love you so much I wanted to show you what I would do. I have explored the world wide webs to find a new medium to tell you how much I love you. I stepped outside of my comfort zone and now I sound like a robot. But the point is. I would do anything for you. And I cannot wait for everything we have in store. I cannot wait to meet your parents in Ski and Jackson. I cannot wait to skip on clouds with you. I cannot wait for the summer. And most days, I simply cannot wait to see you again. So without any further ado, Happy Valentine's Day, Laura. See you tonight.